May 2008, two hikers are stranded in the Grand Canyon. No map, no compass, no way out. Scorching days, freezing nights, their lives hang in the balance. They must use their wits and the sun to navigate fighting dehydration and exhaustion with hope as their only guide. Welcome back to Out There, where we explore the great outdoors one adventure at a time. I'm JJ, and this is my trusty adventure cat, Simon. And we're gonna dive into finding your way without a compass. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, and leave a comment to learn more tips that could save your life. All right, so back to our story. So in May 2008, Alan and Iris set out for a trek in the Royal Arch Route in the Grand Canyon. They were well prepared, but disaster struck when they lost their way after overshooting their exit route, and they got stuck in a side canyon without a compass or a map. Whew, thank God I have you, Simon. You're a great navigator to have. But if you don't have a cat like Simon, then you're probably gonna wanna follow some of these tips. The Grand Canyon is no walk in the park. It's an unforgiving environment, and for Alan and Iris, it became a battleground for their survival. Alan and Iris were caught in a desperate situation, and with the scorching sun beating down on them by day and freezing temperatures at night, they needed to think of something very quick. They knew they had to rely on their survival instincts and natural navigation skills to make it out alive. So here are the tips they use which might save your life if you're ever stuck in a similar situation. Tip number one, use the sun. During the day, the sun's position can help you determine direction. As we all know, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Around midday, it's roughly in the south. Alan and Iris use the position of the sun to keep moving in that direction they believe would lead them to safety. Tip number two, look for natural signs in the desert. Vegetation can be sparse, but certain plants grow more abundantly on the northern side of rocks and hills. Alan and Iris observed that sparse vegetation and rock formations to maintain their sense of direction. Tip number three, use landmarks. Identify distant landmarks like mountains, large trees, or bodies of water. Keep them in sight and navigate towards them. This helps maintain a consistent direction and prevents you from walking in circles. As it turns out, after three days of grueling travel, they finally stumbled upon a small stream. This was their lifeline and they followed it until they encountered another hiking group who helped them back to safety. Their ordeal in the Grand Canyon is a stark reminder of the importance of knowing how to navigate without a compass and the need to stay calm under pressure. You know, Simon, you can learn a lot from them. About staying calm, that is. Alan and Iris' story isn't just about survival. It's also about the resilience of the human spirit. All right, guys, well, that is all the time we have for this episode. But thank you for joining us for this one. If you did like this video, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming wild adventures. And remember, stay adventurous, stay curious, and get out there.